In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an interactive slide design with mouse over animation and this is how the slide works. You can see here I've added these three images from the web and how it works is when I take my mouse on the particular image, that image will enlarge and the text will reveal. So if I just put it here, you can see here, this is the CEO message. Now I'm going to this one. You can see here, this has enlarged. Now if I bring it here, this will enlarge. So you can just bring the cursor it will enlarge as you can see here please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and insert three rectangles as shown in this particular image. So let me just show you one example. Go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the rectangles rounded corner. Draw a rectangles rounded corner and you can see the small orange point. Just drag this outside so it makes a less curved at the corners. And then go to the picture or texture fill and click on the insert button. So here you can insert the pictures from your local PC or you can search the pictures from the stock images or from the online pictures. So I have downloaded these three images from the web using the same method. So you can choose your own images here. So for this example, I'm going to use this uh, three images for my tutorial. So let me just delete this one and I'm going to bring this to the center. So let me just duplicate this slide by right mouse click and click on the duplicate slide. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the, the size of these images. So how you can do is you can just select this one, go to the shape format and click on the crop and then you can reduce it. You can see here maybe this much size. Here also I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to reduce it. All right. Use the same size. Keep the same size for all the pictures you can see here i have i'm going to put it something like this here all right again if you want to change this one you can just uncrop this one you can see here and i can just maybe this side i'm going to put the the image the person face is not visible so let me just put it like this all right so you can see here now i've got these three photos and if you want to change the background image you can just change to a different color maybe i'm going to use a black okay so it looks something like this right so this is my very first slide now the next thing which i'm going to do is again i'm going to duplicate this slide right mouse click duplicate this one and i'm going to increase the size of only this particular uh, image again you have to go to the picture format and crop it and take the full slide you can see here i'm taking the full slide sorry the full image and then again if you want you can just increase the size but this will stretch so i don't recommend you to do that part but anyway so not a problem with that one so this is my uh, second slide now i'm going to duplicate this one the second thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to enlarge the second image so again this image i'm going to again bring to its original position all right you can see here this is so now let me just move this aside and select this one crop and do this part all right so now i'm going to move this here so here the background because of black is not completely visible so let me just give some different color yeah i think this is okay and later on we can just change the color if you want okay so that is the last step which we can do you can see here this is my the third slide now again duplicate this one now this time i'm going to reduce this back again go to the picture format crop reduce it then increase this one you can see here i'm going to increase this image to its original level and bring it here so you can see here my first slide i've got the same size images 
then the second slide i'm going to increase the image of the the first slide in the second slide i'm going to increase the image of the center one and then the last one which i'm going to increase the third image size so so for this also let me just change the color to this uh, gray color i think i've used this color and here also i'm going to change the same color all right so it's more visible and later on if you want to change the color of the background you can change it okay the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to insert the text here so here i'm just saying that business meeting okay this is my heading for this image so i'm going to make it open sans uh, extra bold sorry open sans extra bold center align again any font color you can use so i'm going to put it like this business meeting and you can insert some detailed text so equals lorm within brackets i don't want this much large text i'm going to delete it center align reduce the font size all right and put it here i think the text is very small all right yeah so this is my the title for the first slide so i'm going to copy this one come here now this will be my second one you can see here and this is i'll just say that some sightseeing or whatever or landscape that will be better okay and then copy this come here and this will be my third one which is i'll just say ceo message all right so i've added the text here so this is the first text second text and the third text so now you have to consider more how i'm going to change this uh, and make it more interactive so first of all go to the slide number 16 17 18 select these three slides go to the transition and make it morph and then i'm going to reduce the duration to one second only then go to the very first slide i mean the slide number 15 i'm going to select this one so this particular image the full image is in the slide number 16 okay and for this image this it is for 17 and for this image it is for the slide 18 okay remember this one so 16 17 and 18 so the first thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select this uh, image you can just go to the insert and you can just click on the link all right sorry not the link click on the action and then here there are two options are there mouse click and mouse over so click on the mouse over hyperlink to remember this one the slide 16 we have okay so hyperlink to i'm going to select slide and from this one i'm going to select the slide number 16 and click ok and highlight when mouse over that is also you can just click this one and click ok all right so the, this is the very first thing so now how it will work for example when i do a slideshow when i bring my cursor here immediately it goes to the next slide which is slide number 16 all right so the same thing i'm going to do it for this also again select this one click on the action on the mouse over hyperlink i'm going to make it a slide this one will be a slide number 17 click ok highlight when mouse over and click ok then i'm going to select this one again action mouse over hyperlink to slide and this will be slide 18 click ok again select this one click ok so this is we have done only for the first slide now the same thing we have to copy we have to do the action for the other slides as well except this one okay except the main one so so now let me just select this one again action mouse over hyperlink to slide now the slide which i'm going to select should be 17 click ok 
tick this one click ok all right again here also i'm going to do the same thing we have to repeat this process okay so now this one again slide go to the slide number 18 highlight okay so this is done now i'm going to slide number 17 slide number 17 i'm going to select this one again action mouse over hyperlink to slide here I have to go back to the slide 16 okay I'm in 17 it has to go back to the slide 16 click ok select this one click ok now I'm going to select this one again action mouse over hyperlink to slide and here it should go to the slide number 18 click ok select this one click ok right then the last one so again this will be go to the slide 16 and 17 this one okay so let me just select this one action mouse over hyperlink to slide so i'm going to select the slide number 16 you should go here click ok then select this one action mouse over hyperlink to slide this should be 17 click ok and click ok so we are done so let's see now how it looks so go to the slide number 15 so when i bring the mouse over on any image that will enlarge okay so you can see here this is enlarge all right now if i move the cursor here this will enlarge and if i move my cursor here this will enlarge you can see here so any image which you just bring the mouse it will enlarge without clicking that one all right you can see here it looks something like this